that. So here we have a wood ant nest. You can tell it's a wood ant nest because of the large domed uh, structure above the ground. It's got a thatch of pine needles and uh, uh, juniper needles on it. Uh, and it extends down beneath our feet by about a meter or more perhaps. And this is great in the spring at this time of year, any blink of sun, any chance they've got to warm themselves up, uh, the whole colony that survived the winter comes out onto the surface and basically absorbs sunlight and sun, uh, sun, uh, sun heat. Uh, and then in the evening they'll disappear back down uh, into the nest and basically act as their own radiators. Sometimes a queen comes up uh, and does the same thing, warming herself up. Uh, she's much bigger than the workers, you can see there's quite a variability in the worker size, but I think the queen would be stand out large. Uh, but these look all like workers. But if you tap somewhere, they will start, look at them, oh, start to go nuts. And they crawl up your and you can actually, the way to identify them, you need to get pretty close and personal to an ant. And they're very tough little beasties, so you can hold them quite perfectly, you know, without harming them, like that. And then you've got to look for the hairs on the back of their necks and see whether they're <laughs> long, short or medium to tell what species it is. But most of the ants, wood ants that we have here, are uh, hairy wood ants.